Food fraud. Are big or small businesses riskier? People are sometimes surprised when they hear me say that large food manufacturers and large retail chains have lower rates of food fraud than independent retailers and small food businesses. For people outside the food industry, I guess that's a reflection of their mistrust of large corporations. Industry insiders know that big businesses generally have more resources than small businesses when it comes to detecting and preventing food fraud in their supply chains. In addition, big businesses usually also have very valuable brands which could be severely damaged if they were to knowingly or even accidentally sell products affected by food fraud. Most of the technical professionals I know in large retail chains are extremely diligent experts who are well aware of the risk posed by food fraud to their consumers and their brands. Better still, large retailers have the power to force their suppliers, that's food manufacturers, to also be diligent about food fraud risks. A recently published survey has data to support my theory. In the survey, large food business operators, retailers, performed significantly better than other operators when their foods were tested for authenticity, adulteration, labelling compliance and contamination. Of 1,010 food samples purchased in 2020 in England and Wales, the average non-compliance rate was 18% across all businesses, but was only 7% for large businesses. And of course, as always, the sources are in the email and the post.